right? Mm -hmm. Hey guys, Tom and John here. This is the new Apple iPhone 13 Pro Max. And today, my son Jacob is going to show you all its features for the photo and video and what it does. Okay, so first I'm going to show you how to take a macro photo like this on your iPhone 13 Pro or Pro Max. So start off with normal camera, you'll notice when you get really close, you'll notice a shift. And that's how you know you're going to macro mode. You get really close up to something like maybe like this, for example. Really, really close. Like that to focus. Take the photo. And then, boom, there it is. So now, oh, you right? Got it. So now I'm going to show you how to zoom in on your photo and still take a clear image. Really, you don't have to do anything. The camera does all the work for you. Just take the photo. At first, it'll look like it's grainy, but then it's clear. So when I take a photo, it can take a grainy image and make it into a sharp image, even though I'm zooming in all the way. Here's another example. I take a, a photo of my of my pet cat, and give me a second. I take a photo of my pet cat. It comes out grainy, but then the image from the processor turns into a sharp image. And that's the final result. So now I'm going to show you how to adjust your portion mode photo. You can tap this, and you can make your background less blurry, or more, more blurry. I went for right around there. And you could also change the lighting. You can do natural light, studio light, contour light, stage light, stage light mono, and high key mono. You can also adjust the depth of the image. So like slide this way to make it more brighter and this way to get more contrast and deeper shadows. And so I went to, I decided to choose this one and bring it all the way down to there to get this photo. If I brought it up here, this is what it would look like. You can also take cinematic video. Here's an example I took with my cats. In cinematic video, um, basically artfully blurs out the background like a real big lens camera. And it does it all in Dolby Vision. It also has night mode and diffusion. Night mode is for low, very low light and deep fusion is for medium to low light. So here's how you take a night mode photo. First you go into your camera app, open up your camera, and then if it's low light, right now it's not low light, but I'm gonna put my, cam my hand over the camera to show you night this toggle right here. If it was low light, you would see this, and you can change the exposure to, in this case, nine seconds. It goes, if you have a tripod, it goes all the way up to 30 seconds, but you can manually set the exposure for how long you want it. The longer the exposure, the brighter the image. So now I'm gonna show you cinematic video. So it works best with people and pets, but it can work with pretty much anything. So here's an example of an orange. I pan this way, and now this drone is in focus. I pan back and at, using the ultra wide camera, the camera intelligently anticipates that I'm put this one back in focus. I can also put this background back in focus. And after the fact, I can go back, press edit, and then at certain points, I can change the focus. So if I wanted this point, that part to be in focus, I can touch that and now that part is going to be in focus and not the orange. And I can go and I go back and the orange is in focus. I can change that and make it so that that background is in focus instead. It can also record at 4K up to 60 frames a second in Dolby Vision. The way you can record in, 4, at, in Dolby Vision is if you go to settings, then scroll down to you see camera, press record video, and then you have this option right here, it says HDR video. So you click that, you put, click that to turn it off, 
click that to turn it on. You'll notice though it does take up more storage. So 4K at 60 frames a second without Dolby Vision takes up 400 megabytes. With Dolby Vision takes up 440 megabytes per minute. It also has a LiDAR scanner, which is basically a 3D scanner built directly into the iPhone. So for example, I can 3D scan this orange right here, which I'll start right now. And so now I'm starting a 3D scan. Now I sit, start processing. Zoom in, and this is the 3D scan I got. <laughs> There's that. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> my big belly. You can see my big belly. You yeah. See, 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 where's my belly? That's you. Where's my big belly? <laughs> that's funny. Oh, wait, that's you. That's my big belly. That's, that's me. That's you. <laughs> that's funny. And if you're doing something like watching a movie or a video you might have taken, for example, um, this video that I took of my cat at 30 frames a second, the screen will be really fresh at 30 hertz or 30 frames a second to match the content, that, the content I'm viewing to save power. Now I'm going to show you the triple camera system of the iPhone 13 Pro and 13 Pro Max. First you have your main wide camera which has large 1.9 micron sized pixels, a wide f1.5 aperture, and features sensor shift optical amortization, which means that the sensor itself moves instead of the lens. You also have the telephoto camera with three times optical zoom and optical amortization. And you have your ultra wide camera, which, you, which features autofocus, so you can use it to take macro photos and Take you can zoom out in your photos and videos to let to capture way more of your scene. Down here you have your lidar scanner, which gives you up to six times faster auto faster autofocus in the light, and enables night mode portraits. You have your microphone right there, and your flash. And because this is an OLED display, it also means you have perfect blacks. So if I go into my calendar app, for example, you can see how you can't, uh, how like you can't really see. But I mean, the screen protector is kind of giving away. But if the screen protector wasn't there, you would you wouldn't be able to tell where that notch is and where the screen begins. That notch houses what Apple calls as face ID. So I click this. Have, it recognizes my face instantly. Do it again. I click the power button. Boom. It recognizes my face and get right in. And it also has incredible performance. So if I open up Geekbench, Geekbench 5, here is the here is the scores that I got for this phone. 1730 for a single core. This is the highest single core score of any smartphone or anything besides the only the only um, chip that has gotten this level of single core performance was the Apple's M1 chip, and that chip is seriously powerful. So this is a really high single core score for a smartphone. And you also got a multi core score, and this is the highest again. This is the highest multi core score I've ever seen on any smartphone. And for the graphics, the graphics benchmark, this is the highest score I've ever seen on any smartphone ever. So incredible performance from the A15 Bionic chip. Um, Tell me about battery life. The battery life is incredible. About four hours ago, this thing was on 70% battery, and now it's only gone down by like 15% and it's been 4 hours so incredible battery life I think we're gonna sh most people would struggle to, to kill this battery in a day I hope you enjoyed this video explaining the camera features of the iPhone 13 Pro and Pro Max please like subscribe everybody thanks again for watching 
And thank you, Jacob, for showing us this really cool phone. We have the direct links for you below. Check it out if you want to buy one.